India was known throughout the world for its education system and universities during ancient times. Famous universities of ancient India are Odantapuri. It is located in Bihar and was made under the patronage of Pal dynasty king Gopal I. It was a Buddhist Mahavihar which was destroyed by Bakhtiyar Khilji. Vikramshila It is located in present day Bhagalpur district of Bihar. It was established by King Dharampal of Pal dynasty primarily as a Buddhist learning center. The scholars were invited by kings outside India to spread Buddhist teachings. The Vajrayan sect of Buddhism flourished here and tantric teachings were taught. Other subjects like logic, Vedas, astronomy, urban development, law, grammar, philosophy etc were also taught. Jagdal, a center of learning for the Vajrayan sect of Buddhism in Bengal. Many scholars took shelter here after Nalanda and Vikramshila declined. It was probably established by King Rampal of Pal dynasty. Vallabhi It is situated in Saurashtra, Gujarat. It was an important center of learning for the Hinayan Buddhism. Various disciplines like administration and statecraft, laws, philosophy, etc. were taught here. It was visited by the Chinese scholar Huen Sang. It was supported by the grants of rulers of Matrika dynasty of Gujarat. Nalanda The most renowned university of South Asia. It is not clear as to who established it. It was in existence during Gupta period. It gained prominence under Harshvardhan's reign of Pal kings. All three Buddhist doctrines were taught here. However, it was a major site for Mahayana Buddhist teachings. Subjects like Vedas, fine arts, grammar, philosophy, logic, medicine, etc. were also taught here. It had eight separate compounds and even had dormitories for students. It attracted scholars from Central Asia, Southeast Asia and other parts of the world. The teachings in the university deeply influenced Tibetan Buddhism. Famous scholars of Nalanda are Nagarjun, that is Madhyamik Shunivad and Aryabhat, the astronomer. Huen Sang spent two years at the university. Another Chinese scholar, It Singh, spent 10 years at Nalanda in the late 7th century. Takshila It is located in modern day Pakistan. It is estimated to exist around 5th century BC. It is believed that Chanakya composed the Arshastra at this place. Both Buddhist and Hindu theologies were taught here. Subjects like political science, hunting, medicine, law, military tactics were taught here. Noted teachers and students from Takshashila include Chanakya, Charak, Panini, Jeevak, Prasanjit, etc. Kachipuram It was a center of learning for Hinduism, Jainism and Buddhism from 1st century AD and achieved great name under the rule of Pallavas. Manikhet now known as Malkhed in Karnataka. It rose to prominence under the Rashtrakuta rule. Scholars of Jainism, Buddhism and Hinduism studied here. It has a Matha or Dvait school of thought. Pushpagiri Vihar and Lalitgiri, Odisha. It was established by Kaling kings around 3rd century AD near the Udaygiri hills. It was mainly a Buddhist learning center. Sharada Peet. It is located in present-day Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. It was an important place for the Sanskrit scholars and many important texts were written here. It also has a Sharda Devi temple. Nagarjun Konda It is situated 160 km from Amravati in Andhra Pradesh and it was a major Buddhist center with scholars from Sri Lanka, China etc. coming for higher education. It had many viharas stupas etc it was named after nagarjun a south indian scholar of mahayan buddhism if you need to know any other topic from nitin singhania or indian history please leave it in the comment box so that i can come back with it if you have liked the episode please like share and subscribe thank you